Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem from chapter 3 equilibrium. So in this problem it is said that the exercise machine is designed with a lightweight cart which is mounted on a small rollers so that it is free to move along the inclined ramp, right? And it is said that two cables are attached to the cart, one for each hand, right? So here we have two cables, right? So from this side we can only weave one cable right but for each hand there are two cables right so it is said that if the hands are together so that the cables are parallel and if each cable lies essentially in a vertical plane determine the force p which uh, each hand must exert on its cable in order to maintain an equilibrium position right so we have to find the force p in each of the cable right and Further, it is said that the mass of the person is 70 kg and the ramp angle th uh, theta is 15 degrees, right? So, this angle is 15 degrees and, for, and, and the angle beta is 18. So, this beta angle here is 18 degrees, right? And it is said that in addition, calculate the force R which the ramp exerts on the cart. Now, if we isolate this uh, main from the whole system, right? So, then that will be our free body diagram, right? So, let's say that here we have that force P in this cable, right? So, let me write that this is that force P. But since we have two cables, so we are considering both the cables. In this diagram, we only see that only one cable, right? But we want to calculate um, the force applied by each hand, right? So, here we are considering that two times force, right? So, this is 2P, right? And similarly, uh, since this cable is continuous, so we will have that 2P tension here as well, right? So, this is that 2P as well. So, this one cable is representing those two cables which are parallel to each other, right? So, we will have two times that tension. So, this is 2P, right? Now, let us let me uh, draw the positive x and y axis, is right? So, let us say that this is my positive x axis is direction right this is my positive x and let's say that the positive y is perpendicular to this plane right so let's say that this is our positive y direction like this right this is our positive y and this is our negative y so now uh, as we can see that the reaction force the reaction of the ramp will be perpendicular uh, to this ramp that will that reaction force will be acting in the positive y direction if i represent that Right, so this will be our reaction force which will be acting perpendicularly to the body of this body, right, uh, of this main, to the body of this main, right. So this is that reaction force and similarly the weight will be acting vertically downward, right. So let us say that this is the weight of this person, right, and that will be acting vertically downward. So this is that weight. And now it is said that this ramp is making 15 degrees with the horizontal, right? This is given. And if if I extend the line of action of both of these forces, so this tension is making uh, 18 degree angle here, right? So now we can resolve this 2P force into its components, right? So it will have two components. It will have one component which will be this 2p force will have one component like this uh, sorry this will be acting in the opposite direction like this and this component will be parallel to the x axis this one will be the cos component right so we can say that this component will be 2p cos of uh, 18 right and similarly this 2p will have one component which will be acting in the negative y direction like this right so this one is the sine component let me write that this is 2p sine of 18 this one is 2p cos of 18 degrees. Similarly, this uh, we can resolve this weight along x and y axis. So, if this is our, if this is that 15 degree angle, right? This is that y axis, is, which is perpendicular with this ramp, which is making 15 degree angle with the horizontal, right? And the weight is acting vertically downward, right? So, this is the line of action of that weight. So now as we can see that this uh, y axis is perpendicular with this line and this weight is perpendicular with the horizontal. So if this angle is 15 degrees, then this angle is also 15 degrees, right? So this means that if this is weight and this is the y axis, then the weight is making 15 degrees with the positive y axis, right? Or with the y axis. So we can say that this weight is making 15 degrees here, 
so now we can resolve this weight into its components as well right so it will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this and it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this right we can place it here as well right so this one will be the cost component i can place it here this will be w cos of 15 degrees and this one will be the sine component so this is this one is w sine of 15 let me write it here this is w sine of 15 degrees right so now this problem is further very simple right so let's say if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 right so as we can see that this 2p force uh, this force is acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus 2p this tension right and this 2p cos of 18 is also acting in the negative x direction so again i will write minus 2p cos of 18 degrees similarly this sine component of this weight is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus w sine of 15 right so w sine of 15 degrees and this will be equal to 0 so the uh, the weight is uh, 70 the mass is 70 kg so the weight will be 70 times 9.81 70 times 9.81 so this is equal to 0 so this equation will give us that p force right so if i take 2p common from this so this will be minus 2p so this will be uh, let's say that if i take minus p common right so this is minus p common so here we will have 2 plus 2 cos of 18 and let me calculate this first right so this will be 70 into 9.81 into sine of 15 so this is 177.73 177.73 and this will be equal to 0 and if we bring this to the other side of equation so its sign will become negative so this will be minus and this minus will cancel out so p will be equal to 177.3 divided by this so 2 plus 2 cos of 18 degrees so now we can say that answer divided by 2 plus 2 cos of 18 degrees so this is 45.55 right so let's say that p is approximately 45.5 newtons so this is the force that each hand will apply on these ropes right so this p is 45.5 newtons similarly we are required to find this r so for that we have to apply the summation of forces along y axis is equal to 0 so now as we can see that this r is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write plus r this cos component of the weight is acting downward so this is minus and weight is again 70 into 9.81 cos of 15 degrees similarly this 2p sine of 18 degrees is also acting in the negative y direction so i have to write minus 2p and now p is known right so p is 45.5 sine of 18 degrees and this is equal to 0 and if we bring both of these terms to the other side of equation so their sign will become positive right so this will become positive so this means that r will be equal to these two the sum of these two right so this is uh, 70 into 9.81 cos of 15 plus 2 into 45.5 sine of 18 so this is approximately 691 newtons right so r is approximately 691 newtons right so the ramp is applying 691 newtons right on the body of this person right and that r is acting perpendicularly to the surface of this ramp so i hope you people would have understood uh, this solution if if my videos uh, helps in your learning uh, kindly like my videos and subscribe my channel so that uh, you people can learn more and more engineering static problems